Look at that stud of a rainbow. Wow. What a beautiful fish. Incredible. He's heavy. <laughs> Super heavy. Wow. Very nice. You get down to you got a little arc in the rod, but that's gonna allow you to see what's right there. There's a fish. I got a fish on right there. I guess that was the right time to talk about that. Now, he's not out of the cliff yet. I'll pop him out of the cliff. Just like that. There we go. Fish on. Woo! <laughs> he's got me buried right now. Last time I was right here, I got a double, so. Man. How big he is, but he was pulling right there. Gotta keep him out of that other line. That would be nice. <laughs> Ooh, he ran at the downrigger cable. Twice. <laughs> He's tired, but I'm trying to get him in the right position. Whoa! Look at that slug. <laughs> wow well, man look at that fantastic trout these fish are going to eat great they're going to have bright red meat look at that square tail that is just a hefty chunky high sierra rainbow and what a fight what a what a determined battle um howdy guys Kel kellogg here let's talk about downrigger weights now i know some of you guys out there you're aficionados of the you know the chromed fish-shaped weights that cost a hundred bucks a piece. Um, you might be guys that are into the four fin weights that track real nice and have the four fins and th they look like a fish too. They look like a black fish. Um, you might even be one of those guys that springs for those cylindrical, you know, weights that are milled out of a, of a solid piece of stainless steel. Those are awesome. Those cost a hundred bucks too. If those kind of weights give you confidence and you've got that kind of money to throw around, by all means, go for it. That's fantastic. But if you wanna do the same work and save money, there are a lot of other options out there. Now, in my kayak, I've been running a four pound ball shaped weight and I catch a lot of fish with that weight, but it's got a couple drawbacks. It's got drag and it also oscillates through the water quite a bit. Now that might be helping me I don't know, but it's driving me crazy. So I, I've long wanted a cylindrical weight, but I'm not gonna spend $100 on a cylindrical piece of stainless steel. This is what I found. I got this weight for $14 on eBay. It is called a deep drop weight. And I think they use these in like Norway and stuff for halibut fishing and you know, a million feet of water. As you can see, it's stamped with a five. This is a five pound lead cylindrical weight, okay? It's not as fancy as a stainless steel one. It's not all schnazzy looking, but I'll tell you what, the fish don't care. When I've got a line trailing, you know, 60 feet behind this weight and I'm paddling along in my kayak, it doesn't matter if the weight's made out of stainless steel or, or plutonium with pixie dust on it. None of that matters. All it is, is a weight. It's a weight, guys. So don't break the bank. Spend your money on something else. Gas is $4 a gallon now. Spend your, spend your extra cash on gas so you can actually go fishing. Um, if you're interested in cylindrical weights like this, just do a search on either Amazon or eBay and look for deep drop weights. And the guy that is selling these, he had them up to 10 pounds. Um, and I, I vacillated between a four pounder and a five pounder, but I figured, you know, this is gonna drag less than my round ball. So that allowed me to go up, you know, one pound. And uh, I think this is gonna work absolutely perfectly. It's got a nice heavy duty eye on it there. I'm gonna rig it up with a Scotty bungee and uh, I am gonna be trolling in style with a nice cylindrical downrigger weight. And guess what? I didn't spend a ton of money to fish like one of the cool kids. I'm ready to spend some money on gas, 
get out there and yo, fish on. If you like this kind of content, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and you'll always know when I'm on YouTube talking fishing, fishing tactics and more. And if you're looking for gear, great gear at a fair price, go on over to fishhuntshoot.com and check out my store. Thanks for all the support guys and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube.